Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to create your first sign up form. Subscribers are three times more likely to convert than your average e commerce visitor. So, we want to make sure that we're collecting as many of those email addresses as possible. This is how it's going to look in the end. So, whenever somebody spends a certain amount of time on my e commerce store, they're going to get a pop up saying, Get 10% off your first order. All you have to do is enter your email address in exchange for that. All right, I'm not going to waste any more of your time now. We're going to jump right into the setup. So, when you first go to create a sign up, form in Omnisend, you're going to see this library of sign up form templates. There's a lot of great suggestions to choose from and, you know, things to get inspiration from. Uh, for today's video, we're going to go with the pop up because in my opinion, it's the easiest one to get started with and is kind of my go to. So we're going to go with this very simple welcome discount template, get 10% off your first order. We're going to select that and click use template. And then the setup process itself is very self explanatory, you pretty much just have to go through all of the steps. So let me walk you through this and give you some tips as we go. On the first step, you select the topic and layout of the pop up. Don't overthink this one, there's no best practice, just pick the one that you like most and that you think will look and feel best on your e-commerce store. The next step is where we get to dig into the copy and my biggest tip here is to keep it as brief as possible because when you think about it, with the pop-up, we are distracting people from browsing our products. So we don't wanna keep them there for too long. We want to get their email address and let them continue shopping with us. If you can get creative and think of something funny, that's also great because your pop-up could make someone stay. But if you wanna keep it on the basic side, 10% off or $5 off your first order always works wonders. And then we're going to scroll back to the top and get into the design. Here, we want to make sure that it looks like a part of our store. You don't want it to look like it's coming from some third party app like Omnisend. So make sure that the fonts, colors, the styling of the button and everything else goes in line with how your store looks like. And then finally, with some templates, you can add a background image. So if you've got some good product photography that works wonders in the pop up, if you want to make it more personal, you can also include an image of your team. And then if you don't have either, you can also use stock imagery. You can find lots of beautiful stuff online. All right, and now we're going to move on to probably the most important part of the pop-up setup process, which is the trigger. When and where does the form display? There's a lot of creative ways that you can set this up. For example, you can make it display only on a certain collection page and make the discount applicable to items in that collection only. Or if you've got really long product pages, you can also make it display after a certain percentage of the page has been scrolled. That way you're going to show them the offer when they are most interested. But for this video, again, we're keeping it very simple and general. So this is my go to that's going to work for almost every e commerce store. All I do is go into timing and make the form display after six to 10 seconds have been spent on a page. Six if you wanna be a bit more aggressive, 10 if you wanna be more on the subtle and soft side. And then the second thing, we're going to also select to show the form when a visitor tries to leave your store. So when we have both of these selected at the same time, the form is going to display when at least one of these is met, either one. So if a visitor decides to leave before it's been six to 10 seconds on a page, they're still going to see the offer and maybe that's going to capture their attention and get them back to your store. And then the last tiny thing I do is I set the frequency limit to at least seven days all the way up to a month. This way, I'm not going to show the form to the same people every time they browse my store. If they're not interested in signing up today, they're probably not going to be interested tomorrow. So give them some time and then ask them for that sign up again in the future. And then after that, we're pretty much done. We're going to go into save and proceed where we're going to be able to review everything. And then after that, save and enable. And that's it. I don't even have to do anything inside of my store settings. The form is going to start displaying immediately. So I'm going to open it up in an incognito window. And this way we're going to be able to see it in action. And there it is. Works like a charm. And the last thing for this video is you probably wonder about what a good sign up rate is for the pop up. So two to 3% is a good average. Now it's all over the place. It differs greatly based on industry, based on what type of store you have, whether it's a one product store or if you have 3000 different products. But generally, I'd even say 1.5 
two, three percent is good. Now, of course, you can always play around and experiment with the copy, with the triggers to try and improve. You can improve all the way to six to 10%, but two to 3% is generally very healthy. And that's it for this video. Now, the next step is to set up a welcome automation to make sure that we're following up with these people and delivering the discount that we promise in the pop-up form. But more on that in the next video.